In the world of sports, few pursuits evoke the same passion, excitement, and universal appeal as football or soccer as it's known in some regions. It's a sport that transcends borders, languages, and cultures, uniting people from every corner of the globe under a single banner, the love of the game. And within this vast arena of football history, there emerges a name that resonates like no other, the name of a living legend, Edson Arantz du Nascimento, affectionately known as Pelé. Pelé's story is not just the story of a footballer, it's a narrative that encapsulates the very essence of the sport itself. From the sun-kissed streets of Brazil to the grandest stages of the world, Pelé's journey is a testament to the transformative power of talent, dedication, and the pursuit of greatness. In this exploration of Pelé's life and career, we delve into the heart of football, where the thrill of the game meets the indomitable spirit of a true sporting icon. Don't go away. Early Life Edson Arantz du Nascimento, known worldwide as Pele, was born on October 23, 1940, in Trace Carecos, a small town in Brazil. His parents, Dondinho and Dona Celeste, named him after the American inventor Thomas Edison. Little did they know that their son would go on to become one of the greatest footballers in history. Growing up in poverty, Pelé's love for football began at an early age. He used to play with a makeshift ball, often made from socks stuffed with rags, on the streets of Bauru, a city where his family moved when he was just a child. Pelé's extraordinary talent soon caught the attention of local clubs, and by the age of 15, he had signed with Santos FC. Rise to Stardom Pelé's debut for Santos came in 1956 when he was just 15 years old. His astonishing performances quickly made him a national sensation. At 16, he scored a hat-trick in the final of the Sao Paulo State Championship, helping Santos win the title. This was just the beginning of his incredible career. In 1958, Pele was selected to represent Brazil in the FIFA World Cup held in Sweden. He became the youngest player to ever score in a World Cup final, netting twice against Sweden and leading Brazil to their first World Cup victory. Pele's speed, skill, and charisma made him an international superstar. The legend grows. The 1962 World Cup saw Pele shine once again, but an injury forced him to miss most of the tournament. Despite his absence, Brazil triumphed for the second time in a row. Pelé's reputation as a football legend continued to grow, and he became the youngest player to win two World Cups. Pelé's club career at Santos was equally impressive. He led the team to numerous domestic and international titles, scoring over a thousand goals during his time there. His combination of power and finesse, as well as his incredible dribbling ability, made him a true icon of the sport. The World Cup hat trick. In 1970, Pele embarked on what would be his last World Cup journey. This time, it was held in Mexico. Pelé's performances were nothing short of magical. He scored in every game leading up to the final, including a memorable goal against England in the group stage, where he executed a breathtaking lob from 25 yards out. In the final against Italy, Pelé scored the opening goal with a powerful header. Brazil went on to win the match 4-1, securing their third World Cup title. Pelé's performance in the 1970 World Cup solidified his status as the greatest footballer of all time. He remains the only player to have won three World Cups. Retirement and Beyond After the 1970 World Cup, 
Pele briefly played for the New York Cosmos in the North American Soccer League, NASL, before retiring from professional football in 1977. His influence on the growth of soccer in the United States cannot be overstated. Pele continued to be an ambassador for the sport, advocating for peace and social causes. He also served as Brazil's Minister of Sports and worked to improve the lives of underprivileged children through various charitable organizations. Pele Last Days In 2021, Pele was diagnosed with colon cancer. He underwent surgery the same month and afterwards was treated with several rounds of chemotherapy. In early 2022, metastases were detected in the intestine, lung, and liver. On November 29th, he was admitted to the Albert Einstein Israelite Hospital in Sao Paulo due to a respiratory infection after he contracted COVID-19 and for reassessment of the treatment of his colon cancer. On December 3, 2022, it was reported that Pele had become unresponsive to chemotherapy and that it was replaced with palliative care. On December 21, 2022, the Albert Einstein Israelite Hospital, where Pele was being treated, stated that his tumor had advanced and he required greater care related to renal and cardiac dysfunctions. Therefore, he was not allowed to spend Christmas at home as his family had wanted. Pele died on December 29, 2022, at 3.27 p.m. at the age of 82, due to multiple organ failure, a complication of colon cancer. Pele's death certificate stated that he had died of kidney failure, heart failure, bronchopneumonia, and colon adenocarcinoma. He was survived by his 100-year-old mother, Celeste, who, given her advanced age, did not understand her son's death. Pele's sister Maria Lucia do Nascimento described their mother as in her own little world. Personal Life In 1966, Pele married Rosemary dos Reis Calbai. They had two daughters, Cooley Cristina, born January 13, 1967, who married Arthur de Luca, and Jennifer, born in 1978, as well as one son, Edson Idenho, B. August 27, 1970. From 1981 to 1986, Pele was romantically linked with TV presenter Suxa. She was 17 when they started dating. In April 1994, Pele married psychologist and gospel singer Assyria Lamosatius, who gave birth on September 28, 1996 to twins Joshua and Celeste through fertility treatments. The couple divorced in 2008. Pele had at least two more children from affairs. Sandra Machado, who was born from an affair Pele had in 1964 with a housemaid, Anisia Machado, fought for years to be acknowledged by Pele, who refused to submit to DNA tests. Pele finally relented after a court-ordered DNA test proved she was his daughter. Sandra Machado died of cancer in 2006. At the age of 73, Pele announced his intention to marry 41-year-old Marcia Aoki, a Japanese-Brazilian importer of medical equipment from Panapolis, Sao Paulo, whom he had been dating since 2010. They first met in the mid-1980s in New York, before meeting again in 2008, 155, they married in July 2016. Legacy Pele's impact on football is immeasurable. His records, including over 1,000 goals in official matches, still stand as a testament to his unparalleled skill. His humility, sportsmanship, and charisma off the field endeared him to fans worldwide. Pele's name has become synonymous with excellence in the sport, and his influence has transcended generations. From his humble beginnings in Brazil to his status as a global icon, Pele's story is one of talent, 
determination, and the enduring power of the beautiful game. Entregando na metade da cancha, Tuchão combina com Pelé, lá vai o Deus de todos os estádios. Alcança a linha intermediária, dominou, repigou para Pelé na meia canhota. Tomou o rei, preferiu atrasar para a clã, dançando Carlos Alberto Brasil, passou da defesa do ataque. Cutuca Carlos Alberto para Pelé, entrou Bergini que é o marcador. Para Jair, o Garrincha 70, outra vez na direção de Gerson, daí para Pelé. Prepara-se agora do São, cobrou para a Riga, ele mandou a boca na meta, pula Pelé, cabeça e o gol! Veja a equipe nacional, Lutão para Pelé, Pelé recebeu pelo comando do ataque para o rei, atrasa na colocando a barreira italiana na posição de vida, correram os dois, Rivelino passou, Pelé para Rivelino, recebeu, vai a liga de fundo, a pelota bate, bate Clodoaldo, volta do chão da Belinha para Pelé. Pelé para pelo comando do ataque, abriu na zaga lateral, a providência de trocar as chuteiras de Clodoaldo e de Rivelino, principalmente Rivelino que está resbalando, no... vai caminhando Pelé, derrubado pela faixa por Burnique, a altura da linha de visão, da altura da linha média, Mário, e a bola passou por Paquete, foi a Tuchão, a Jair, a Pelé penetrou, a Tuchão pode marcar na área, demorou, cruzou o tiro do chão para Carlos Alberto, domina Carlos Alberto, está pela linha direita, jogou na área para Pelé, para Tuchão, para Pelé, domina Pelé, Pelé, frente à área italiana para Gerson, em Brasil, um para a Itália. Aí lá vai o Brasil, lutando pelo segundo gol, Carlos Alberto entrega para Pelé, Pelé vira, está nos pés de Gerson, caminha, executa na área, na direita para Pelé, matou no peito, penetrou Pelé, atira, coloca na frente para o Brasil. Já invalidou, dando por encerrado o primeiro tempo, quando Pelé matava no peito e botava. É da saída. A pelota atrás, passou por ele, entregou a Carlos Alberto, correu e trouxe o chão, entra Pelé, atira pela liga de fundo, pelo Rivelino Agerson, levanta na área perigosa, Pelé tenta agora a penetração, foi obstruído na área perigosa e agarrado, Mário, ele está fazendo o gesto ao contrário, para Clodoaldo, daí para o jogador que é Carlos Alberto, arma Pelé, Bola devolvida por Carlos Alberto entregando a Pelé. Pelé passa até passagem pelo Burnick, é derrubado sem bola. Paralisa o árbitro, dessa vez ele marca lá. Deu a tostão, devolve a Gerson, entra agora o domingo de cabeceia. Bicicleta na área perigosa, quase atingida a cabeça de Pelé. Ele é Brasil, bola. Bate pelo do alto para Pelé. Pelé já tem o coro atrás, Burnick, o seu marcador. Abre agora para Gerson, Gerson para Pelé. Pelé bateu o Burnick, mas o árbitro invalido não se marca tiro livre. Certo, o Brasil, olha Pelé, olha a chance, domina o Pelé, tenta invadir a área, Paquete entregando na metade da cancha Domingini, entrou Pelé, retoma pelo Brasil, ponta pé de Domingini, Pelé na metade da cancha, tem que ser expulso, tem que ser expulso, entregando ao jogador Domingini, Abertini, soltou para Domingini, entrou Pelé, tomou-lhe a bola, deu a resposta, nova volta de Domingini em Pelé, Mário Viana, chegando na direção de Gerson, penetra Gerson, jogou na área para Pelé, Pelé a descer para cair, terminou, é gol! Gol! Gol do Brasil! Cair, 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 sim, o terceiro gol do Brasil! Brasil para o tricampeonato! Avança pela direita, Gerson soltou na direção do Pelé, tomou Pelé, o filho dos finais com o Brasil, de tricampeão que Deus tiver, já tirou o então, mentão, Jair Sassa, coração do Brasil, do estádio Pega, para Jairzinho, para Pelé, para Tuchão, para Pelé, chuta Pelé, defendeu o arqueiro o Pessoa, quando o Guadalhães estava marcando, entregando a Tuchão, Tuchão a Pelé, Pelé parou na entrada da grande área, tenta o passe, executa para a carta na entrada da área perigosa, cruza na ponta esquerda para Everaldo, Matou no peito, Pelé de esquerda, saiu o Paquete, passou por ele, lança a pelota Pelé, Pelé dominou, Carlos Alberto está livre, correu o caminho, atirou, gol! Gol! É hora de emoção, é hora de gozo, é hora de satisfação, é hora de Brasil, é hora do tricampeonato!